Hello. Good afternoon. Hello. Good afternoon, Professor. Uh, can you turn on your camera? Uh, yes, I'll try to. Oh, it... yes. Now we can see you. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for joining us uh, this afternoon. Uh, I'm Radosław Koszewski. Together with me, there are uh, Lydia Marcinkowska and Mariusz Pawlak. Uh, you will have now five minutes to present yourself. Then each of us will have up to three minutes to ask you a question and, and listen to your answer. And then all together, we will have one minute to give you the feedback. Uh, is it all clear? Yes, it is. The floor is yours. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, good afternoon. My name is Angelika Boniecka, and I've been teaching English in the secondary school number 13 in Szczecin for the last 20 years. Uh, I must say that uh, I'm a really lucky person because uh, teaching is not only my job, but also my passion. And I think it's quite rare, so I value it a lot. Um, and it contributes a lot to my uh, life satisfaction. What I enjoy most about my job is that it's never boring. No two lessons are ever the same. So there's lots of space for my creativity as well as the creativity of my students. Uh, the other reason why I love my job so much is that I love working with young people, uh, teaching them, but also learning from them. Uh, so uh, it often happens that uh, my students suggest a new app, game or activity that we could use in uh, the classroom. And uh, I try it out and it turns out that it's uh, fantastic. So uh, I use it later with uh, other groups. Uh, the thing which I believe is very important uh, nowadays is not only teaching them the language, but uh, because they can acquire it outside the classroom. But what is important is building relationships, uh, personal development and uh, working on emotional intelligence. So that's what I devote lots of time uh, to in my class, in my classes. Uh, through group works and projects and debates on the issues which they find uh, interesting or controversial. As far as organizing uh, trips for young people is concerned, I've had lots of experience in that since my uh, years as a scouting instructor in my youth. Uh, and uh, last, the last uh, trip which I organized um, uh, to Great Britain coincided with the coronation of King Charles III. So I uh, know a lot about all the challenges and um, responsibilities involved in organizing such trips. Uh, the reason why I would love, uh, I'd love to be part of your program is that I've never had uh, the first hand experience of studying abroad. And my notion of what it must be like comes only from books and films. Uh, so I'd be extremely happy if I had uh, this chance to see with my own eyes uh, those impressive buildings, to see, um, to feel the atmosphere of American universities and campus. Uh, I'd also be thrilled if I had a chance uh, to participate in some lectures and workshops, as I believe that uh, American approach to education is innovative and uh, they are always and they are always ahead of their times. So I'm sure that I'd be inspired to uh, implement some of uh, their ideas into my teaching. Um, and I'm sure that it would benefit my students as well as the things you can read on the internet could never compare to uh, my actually being there and talking to both students and lecturers and then passing my knowledge to my uh, students. Uh, as far as sharing my knowledge afterwards is concerned, uh, I have come up with an idea of making a video presentation of the trip, something like a travel blog. So uh, I'd record every place I visit together with my comments, some on the spot ideas, recommendations, impressions. And then uh, I'd use this video uh, in our school's social media. So in this way, I could reach a large audience. Uh, and this is something that uh, young people do 
all the time. So I think that uh, this would be a useful tool. I was also thinking of uh, putting up a photo exhibition uh, somewhere on the wall in our school together with some articles about the program uh, and some uh, maybe diary entries written by the students uh, who have been uh, on the trip. Um, there is no denying that what you offer is an outstanding uh, experience and I'd be over the moon if I had a chance to go there, so <laughs> uh, I hope I will. Uh, thank you very much, that's my presentation. Thank you very much, we are perfectly on time. Mm -hmm. uh, let me ask you a question. Uh, last year, uh, we uh, we met a business partner of uh, Elon Musk. Uh, he himself is, is also a billionaire, a uh, very busy person. Mm, uh, we scheduled the meeting uh, at uh, 11.30 mm, and we were there all the time, just in time. Imagine we are going to, to, to the meeting with Elon Musk himself uh, and suddenly you discover that Two students are missing. What do you do? Shall the bus wait? Then per perhaps the whole group skips uh, the, the meeting with Elon Musk. Uh, or we, you know, we say two students, this is like 4% of the group, 4%, 96% are there. Uh, the index is, is not so bad. Uh, what would you do? Uh, I believe that uh, there are always uh, more than one tutors, so uh, I think that it would be unfair on the other students to miss such an opportunity. So I definitely stay uh, and look for uh, the student uh, or students who are missing and I'd let uh, my colleague or colleagues to go with the rest of the group as it's a, a once in a lifetime opportunity. So uh, I think that it would be unforgivable, unforgivable <laughs> if they missed it. Would you volunteer to stay? Yes, yes, because um, it, it's something that I'm prepared to do. My job uh, is to go there, to be uh, there for my students, not my personal interests and what uh, I dream of. And I, I think that I'd be uh, ready to skip this one. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Lydia. Hey, uh, hello, good afternoon. Um, we really want the students to, to you know, benefit from the perspective of, of a completely uh, different environment. But um, I would like to hear from you uh, an example of your previous experience when you uh, successfully managed, motivated a group of high achieving students, excellent students. Mm -hmm. um, quite recently, I must say, it, it's, uh, I know that it's not my success, so I, I'm just saying that I was uh, su supportive and I uh, tried to help as uh, well as I could. My uh, student this year uh, came 12th in the uh, English Olympiad which is, I believe, a huge success uh, and uh, what what I, <laughs> I as I say it's it's not my work I'm only there uh, to support and help so uh, I uh, tried to encourage him to uh, to show him the path what he should do what books he should read and uh, what work he should he should do to achieve such a success uh, but it's <laughs> I'm, uh, I want to stress, it's not my success. It's the success of my student, which I'm really happy about and I'm proud of him. Kudos to you and to your students. Thank you very much. Yes, Marius, please, yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, yes, good afternoon, nice to meet you. So uh, you mentioned that, uh, that the American education system is the best in the world, yes? Yeah? So, uh, it educates uh, very well. But my question is, if you find any European country that could compete with the US system and why? And if not, please also say why. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Yes, <laughs> I uh, haven't said that it's the best, but uh, I like their uh, approach and I said that it could be inspiring. As, and as far as Europe is concerned, uh, I uh, know quite a bit about the Finnish um, uh, education system and what I uh, like about it is that it gives students quite a lot of freedom in uh, choosing the subjects that they want to study. Uh, it gives also a lot of freedom to teachers um, and um, the atmosphere there seems uh, to be conducive to learning, to uh, personal development, that the students have to understand that what, what they do, uh, they do it for themselves. Um, so if I had to choose uh, the one uh, system which I in some way admire and I'd like uh, um, Polish uh, educational system to uh, take from, I'd uh, choose this one. Thank you. Uh, and now, uh, if I may ask uh, Lydia for the short feedback. Uh, well, I really appreciate uh, what you've told us. Uh, it's really uh, amazing that you want to stay with the students that do not want to be on time. That that's really that that's really something that we could appreciate because you know th there are always uh, some some troubles and challenges uh, during the stay. So we really can see that you have heart for your students. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Marius. Oh, yes. Yeah. So to be honest, I'm, I'm, I'm also very impressed with your answer because this is the mission of a teacher, yes, of, of a master uh, to take care about the students. Uh, also, maybe I expected that the Americans, what they say about the deadline, yes. So if someone missed deadline, so that's why this is dead. You cannot miss it. So yes, really, this was a very good answer. Thank you. Uh, Angelica, uh, we are really impressed uh, by your answers. Um, my my colleagues uh, commented that uh, the answer to my question, uh, I I would find even a better answer to it. Mm -hmm. How could it happen that these three or two guys are missing? Uh, what to do yes. to prevent it? Yes, you're right. You're right. <laughs> yes. So I was looking for a solution and not thinking about the reason. You're right. <laughs> yes. But but anyway, you you did great. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, your problem is that in, in this group, we have really best teachers in this country, Latvia and Lithuania, mm -hmm. really best ones uh, who are scoring the, the highest score. Uh, please remember that there, there is the second part of this whole process, meaning voting in Internet. Please inform everyone you know that you are running for the Queen Hedwig Scholarship uh, and they shall remember about, uh, about voting for you. Okay? Yes, I will. Thank you. Thank you very much once again. Have Thank a nice you. afternoon. Same to you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.